Hello everyone, welcome back to Museum Diaries. This is Jax here, and I'm gonna go over a, um, uh, I don't know what you call this. There's a name for this where you open up a package and you reveal it. It's, a uh, unboxing. There you go. So, I ordered from Amazon Prime some magnetic clips for the fridge because... This is all we have left. This one right here. This one right here. It's magnetic, which is good. And we're using rubber bands. See that? We're using rubber bands to seal our stuff. So, from Amazon, for like $12, 11 and some change, I ordered these magnetic clips, which are multi-purpose. Like I said, you can use them to clip just about anything. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open these. Hang on a second. Hang on. Let's move this out of the way. There we go. Okay, there they are. These are them. And they're gonna be perfect. I'm gonna be able to use one of these. I'll just clip it there and then I'll get rid of the rubber band later. But I can just unclip them from the paper they come in and stick these on the fridge. And I'm gonna put them on the side of the fridge. Right here. It's okay, Napoleon. He's just like looking at me like what are you doing and I'm just gonna go ahead and organize these just like so and I got six more one two three four five six so I think I'm going to put some of these on the front. I'll put two right here. Right there. Let's fix this. I want to share this with you. Veronica and I took this picture at a booth. I think it was at a pet store. No, I had a movie theater. And, um... It was a really cute photograph session. There's us doing our peace signs. Hang loose sign. I gave her a kiss on the cheek because I love her so much. She's like my best sister, best friend ever. And there's us together. So this hangs on our fridge. And let me put it back. There it's back. And we keep this one on our fridge because it's a dog that is smiling. He's smiling. And we catch Napoleon doing this when we take him to the park, which is really cool. Okay, so I'm going to continue. I'm going to put one more there. And the rest, I have three, I'm going to put on the fridge somewhere. I'll put one in the corner up here, one. I have two more, two, and three, and there I have it you guys for like 12 bucks on Amazon. I just look, looked up kitchen clips for bags, and then these came up that are magnetic, and I decided to go ahead and pick them up. This is from when we went to Puerto Vallarta on Norwegian Cruise Line. This is when we went to Cabo San Lucas on Norwegian Cruise Line and we went snorkeling there. Which we're planning on actually for November of this year. We already booked our cruise with Norwegian Cruise Line again and we're going to do the Mexican Riviera which is 
Mazatlan, Puerto Vallarta, Cabo San Lucas, but we're not gonna do snorkeling in Cabo San Lucas this time. I don't, actually, I don't think we're gonna do any snorkeling at all. We're just gonna enjoy and go to the opal shops and enjoy the cuisine and uh, the art, if they have any art there, and just kinda get to know the town a little bit, you know? So that's where we're at with that. Um, everything else is going good. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up. And I'll see you guys soon here on our next video. Hope you guys like these clips. They're gonna come in handy. Definitely gonna come in handy. Um, definitely gonna come in handy. Okay. Okay, so we decided to bring the babies to the park. I'm here with Veronica. And we're gonna take them for a loop. There's Napoleon over there. But um, check out this walking stick Veronica has right here. Let me zoom in a little bit. I made it out of pine wood. I polished it, varnished it, smoothed it out, and I made this beautiful custom made walking stick. Veronica, she uses it when we come to the park. Good girl, Lucky. Good on staying nearby. Yeah, she loves it. I try and keep Lucky close because there are coyotes here at this park. I've seen two walking together the last time we were here. Well, not the last time we were here, but a little while back. Yeah. And I'm just very cautious. Yeah, Veronica has some kind of laryngitis thing going on, so she can't speak that well. Or you can't really hear her. It's a beautiful day. It's probably about 62 degrees. It's Friday. And it's nice. There's not that many people here at the park, as you can see. And the benches are pretty open. So let's walk this way, Veronica. So we're gonna walk on this side. So let's see here. Oh, the water dried up. No more duckies. When it rains, this area right here, down here, gets full of water. And the ducks come in. And you'll see ducks in that area. But not today. It's pretty dry now. And all this turns into mud, this whole pathway here. What do you see, Napoleon? Napoleon! Such a good dog. Come on, boyo. Come on. Let's go. Good boy. Come on, Lucky. How you doing, Veronica? Okay, she's doing fine. I got both the leashes around my neck. One for Napoleon, one for Lucky, in case we run into a ranger and he tells us or she tells us to lead him up there he is I don't know what he's looking for what are you looking for Napoleon he looks so pretty against all that green good boy come on he looked gorgeous against all that green and there he goes up the hill he's so strong He's chasing after the squirrels. Come on, Lucky, stay nearby. Napoleon! There he is. Look at him go. And there's Lucky. Napoleon! Napoleon! Call him. Boyo! Boyo! 
Bio, get over here. Should we put him on the lead? Come here, come here. Stay here. Come here. He's cussing up a storm. Napoleon! Stay over here, Bio. Napoleon! This guy over here, he's like cussing up a storm. And there's another guy out there with the walking stick. Okay. Hi, Lucky. Hey, he's a friendly dog! Come here! He said to put him on the lead. Come here, Napoleon! Napoleon! Come here, okay, let me put him on the lead. We just had some problems. Um, by a vagrant. By two people that seem homeless, not sure about one. But there's somebody sitting way out there. And then yeah, Napoleon is right here. There. Yeah, and they had a fit about Napoleon not being on his leash and demanded we put him on the leash. They were threatening to call, I think, a ranger. And I told him in response that I was going to call the police for him not. Right. Stay on the path. It's kind of ironic that the people that are complaining are people that are vagrants that are breaking the law already. Yeah. So, we're gonna loop around. We're gonna have to put Napoleon on the lead because that man's gonna be on the other side. But we're going to call the police anyway and call him for vagrancy as soon as he gets, comes back. <coughs> He's here all the time. <coughs> and our dog ran out. There's no one else here. And before we got the lead on him, but he's a puppy. He's still a nice boy. Wants to be friends, doesn't bother anyone. The homeowners have a good. Oh, and that's the other thing. That guy threatened to sue us because Lucky went up to like nip at him. She didn't bite him. She's harmless. But he threatened. You better, you better put your dog on a lead. If I will sue you. And I just said, okay, let's put her on the lead. And I explained to him that Veronica couldn't bend over. So I had to put the lead on Lucky. And that's why Lucky's on the lead right now. And she enjoys it. Because she's walking. Let's not go up that path. Let's keep going away from that now. There's Napoleon. Next time they try to confront us, I'm going to say, okay, let's call the police right now. You're a vagrant. You have no rights. You can have a card, or you leave me here. I think they're illegal. Yeah. And I, I bet you this, we can get a good attorney. I always get the best. And we'll win. But the worst is get a ticket and he'll be in our food. But he'll be yeah, it's a and ticket. Go back to jail. It's a ticket we don't need. And then I'll get transported. No, if he wants to play like that, I'll play hardball. 
I have a backbone of steel, Mama. It doesn't threaten me one iota. Napoleon! I don't want them to get too far out. I agree. Who's out there? Napoleon! Come back! Napoleon! Napoleon! Stay! 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 Stay. Stay, boyo. Come here. Come here. He put his leash on him. Good boy. Okay, we're gonna. There's Lucky. He made it all the way up here. The biker, the guy in the bicycle. Napoleon! Come here! Okay, Come here, so boy! I let Napoleon off the lead and he's running free. Napoleon! I don't want him to get too far. You know, I don't want him to run into that man that threatened to hit him with a stick. But we are going to There's Lucky with the lead. I don't like confrontation with people. I don't care what you like. I'm telling you what I'm going to do. Lucky, come here. This photograph. Okay, I let Lucky off the lead. And Napoleon's off the lead. These two vagrants that don't have a place to live. Oh like shit, that. Napoleon! Boyo, boyo. Over here, honey. Good boy. Good boy. Good boyo. Looks like he's going. Yeah. Okay, let's turn around and go back. Come on. You want to give him water now? Sure. Want some water? Want some water, babies? Here. Drink some water, Lucky. Drink some water. Let Lucky eat. Let Lucky drink. Hang on, Lucky. Here. Boy, oh no. Lucky has to drink too. Lucky so has Lucky's to drink too. drinking now. Yeah. Okay, she's done, Boy. Okay. I don't see anybody else walking around. I think it's time we walk back to the car. So it's a straight shot from here to there. Can you fit that bowl in your pocket? No. Yeah, you can, your side pocket. What do I have here? Keys, camera lens. Okay. Let's just go. Okay, we're gonna head home. So as you can see, sometimes you run into problematic people at the park that demand you put a lead on your dog. And sometimes I feel like, what's the point of taking your dog to the park if they can't run, be free, and exercise their energy like we do with Napoleon and Lucky? So hopefully between now and the time we get to the car, 
we don't run into uh, any confrontational people. But as you can see here, it happens. It happens. Both men that we ran into, one was just swearing up and down and forsaken. Yeah. You can tell they live somewhere in the back of the park. Yeah, they're probably illegally here. But anyway, we're gonna head back to the car. Napoleon! There's Lucky. She's just squatting to pee. And there's Napoleon. Okay, you guys. Thank you for walking with us on this little venture at the dog park, or the dog park as we like to call it, but um, didn't see any other dogs. There's somebody walking at the far end, so let's just get back into the car, and we'll see you on our next video. Remember to subscribe to our channel, and if you like this video, Give us a thumbs up, that really helps. Okay you guys, see you next time. Bye for now.